In this video we're gonna create this uh, progress bar and it just uses a material and first so let's dive straight into it. With this progress bar or unlock bar or whatever you can set the value based on the Y scale. So if I put in 13 or 14 it will be that value over there. The way I can do that is by using the object skill and feeding them into a bunch of uh, nodes so that we will split up the UV and basically use uh, this row of numbers at the correct spot. This is the progress bar. It is basically this texture and um, I'm masking the top half and the part of the um, bar to whatever value comes in right so the top part will always be white and the other half will change based on the uh, number value so I've set here a limit and remapping that limit 500 will be half and then 300 it will you know swipe across the texture now one of the cool things is that with this line, these nodes, uh, it will keep facing to the camera or to the player. A big chunk of this, these nodes are coming from the scalar test debug scalar values, this node. And if you double click on it, it is uh, unable to, to check it. But with Unreal Engine 5, we can look into this node and see what's happening. So I took most of the nodes, for example, this part is from that and this part. The weird thing though is that the numbers are inverted and maybe that's the way it's been it's calculating the um, the data or the numbers so it needs to uh, flip them at some point so i went ahead and did the, did the same thing in affinity photo and uh, made my custom numbers so i went and copied the material over into this website blueprintue.com and I will share this link so you can you know go over here look at it on the go to copy copy it over select everything control C go back to UEFN go to materials create a new material And paste it over here then it will give you everything you need for this material now we need to feed it to the correct uh, pins over here in the example we're gonna say it set it to masked and to unlit now this multiply node will be emissive color and this will be the opacity mask and the last part is over here and it will be will position offset on this plane it doesn't show anything but here on the cube it does show the material when you don't have the texture set here you can set the numbers texture and here you can set the bar texture rid of this stuff uh, yeah. um, in my example I'm using the button to update it. it can be anything of course button device and we're using the uh, prop the progress prop okay, the prop and we create a new class as well uh, progress 
Hop. We need a, a variable float with the um, yeah the new skill value or in the initial skill value that would be a thousand in my case. And we want to update the transform of the prop, so the value changes. In a transform and transform. Okay, let's get in the additional things we want, uh, modules we want to use in our code. This is special math and random. And the random is just for the example here, so that the player will give random values to this progress prop. And once a bool or a logic. Uh, that states if it is updating or not. So just one player can uh, use it at a time. The first function is to initialize it. Uh, init prop. Uh, the button uh, interactive with event subscribe to that handle uh, button fine that's fine and the button agent is always the thing that comes through and in this example we'll just give a random value but in the final game you want here to get the agents data and feed it whatever value it holds to update this bar. And initialize, I'm gonna give it the initial, you know, uh, scale values in it transform. And for this, I'm gonna create another function to update the transform. So I will mark this out. This is. Uh, Come back to that later. I'm gonna create a special function that we can reuse, update transform. Get the amount that is changing, and we return the transform. Now we want to uh, move it, um, or use the move to function for the prop, but we don't want to change the rotation of the position or the position. So we want to save those the rotation, uh, progress, prop, get transform, form, rotation, progress, prop, get transform, translation. Now we want to create a new transform. And that is transform. And return that new transform. Now do we want to adjust this? First the scale which is a vector three. And the uh, rotation, which is the rotation and the translation, which is the position. And for the scale, the X will be you know, we scaled it up and we can do it uh, here or uh, in the blueprint. Uh, for now, let's just do it here. The X was four. The Y is, of course, the uh, amount. And the Z is also four. So we're going to use this function here to update. So, one function. 
Got to update uh yeah, send action. So the initial value is in this case new value. So at the init prop it will set a thousand on the Y for the skill. And then we teleport that value. This prop teleport to init transform. It's form. Yes, sir. Now the fun part is handle button. So if it's not updating, is updating, is false, it did date in. Oh, I just set a new random value. This is a new random. This is for demo purposes in, the, in a final game, final idea. You want to give or get the agent data and give that value, but for now this is fine. And we want to update the uh, position. So we spawn a new function, it is date prop. the amount suspends and we're gonna set is updating to true we're gonna set a new value which was thousand in the beginning we want to set it to the new value minus the amount here. And two things can happen. If the value, the new value is lower than zero, that means like it's over, right? The, the progress is done. So we want to take that into account. If it's not below zero, we want to. Um, update the progress bar so if the new value is equal to zero we want to do something and else we want to do uh, the update the update is a new transform we reuse the function with the amount Then we're gonna move the prop, progress, prop, move to new transform uh, with time, so 0.2 seconds. And if it's done, we set is updating to false. Now, if the value is lower than zero, we can, for example, um, Disable the button. We can also, you know, there is a last part, right? There is a small part that needs to be filled up. So transform update transform. We use the function, and the value is zero. So we want the y to be zero now, and then we're gonna do uh, progress move to transform and if that's happened so it will be invisible progress prop dispose so we created update prop and now we're gonna spawn that every time the player is pressing the button and it's not updating update prop with the amount which is a new random value 
So I made one little mistake in this code and this is when updating the prop. We don't want to update the transform with the amount but with the new value. So change that to new value and now it should work. On begin, uh, new progress prop. Progress prop. And it needs two things, the button, and the progress prop itself. So I'm feeding these two editables into this new class here. And new progress prop, it's just one function I need to start it off kick it off and that's the init, init prop. Now let's create the mesh and the blueprint to make this work. And first of all, we need a plane that is rotated. So we're gonna get a rectangle. We zeroed it out. And we just want to rotate it on the X axis like so, 90 degrees, except and then we can over here bake the transform. We're gonna use this. We're gonna create a blueprint for this. Blueprint class static mesh. And while we select a rectangle, we're gonna add it over here. And we're gonna set the correct material, so M example. And here is it. Now let's grab everything we need. It is the progress. It will be scaled in the verse code, but we can do, for example, you know, scale it up, just see what's going on. And remember, this is the value. We need the button. And the first device. Example device. This one no. The button. This one and progress. And with everything connected, we get the result we want. I hope you like this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.